Wow, it's almost been another year, uh, another full year um, that I've been doing a bunch of these reviews and uh, you, if you guys watch, you notice that my channel has gone through some changes, format's always changing, I'm just trying to find my, my signature, my style, uh, I kind of like my openings, my intros, but um, one thing that I've reviewed or that I feel like I've reviewed quite extensively on this channel are... Uh, our cleavers and so today we're gonna look at another cleaver we're gonna look at a Mercer culinary Chinese style cleaver Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. I'm your host, JP, and today we're taking a look at another um, knife from Mercer. It's actually the Mercer uh, Asian style or Chinese chef's knife. It's a, it's a cleaver, a vegetable style cleaver. Um, very reminiscent of the China, Chinese style cleavers that I've used in the past. Um, and another one that I'm gonna review for you. So I've, I've done a few reviews of uh, of these vegetable style cleavers on my on my channel um, So I feel like I've got a pretty good handle or understanding of of Cleavers and how they operate and I think for the most part if you haven't watched my channel uh, You should go back and check out some of those videos, but I used to use these Chinese style cleavers extensively uh, in my kitchen especially after um, watching Martin Yan uh, as he would always use the Chinese style cleaver on his shows um, these are an X50 CRMOV15, so they're German steel. Um, they actually have rounded spines on them. They have Santaprene style handles, so they're NSF certified. Um, and they feel very, very comfortable and tacky in your hand. I've had several uh, variances of these cleavers, but typically this number one style, or number one size, is what I uh, I've been using mostly. Um, Let's talk about the knife a bit. <clears throat> so in terms of the balance, it is blade heavy. Um, right near that crest is where we've got the balance there. Um, the top is actually rounded, which I find um, pretty unique, especially for the cleaver style. They don't typically have a rounded uh, spine on that, and that's really comfortable depending on how you're using it. Um, it's got a convex grind on it, as I can tell. So we've got a convex grind, and the convex grind just means it's more of a rounded shape than just a, uh, a straight angle grind on it. Um, pretty flexible, still very nice. Can be used for smashing garlic on the board itself. Looks like uh, you can use the top to pound and tenderize meat if you don't want to chop through it. Seems very sharp, definitely broad, so you can grab whatever it is using it as a spatula. Uh, and again, it's a Santaprene handle, and it's a German-free, rust-fry, or rust-free, or stain-free uh, type steel. Okay, um, I believe it is a uh, eight inch. It's an eight inch. So um, some of the cleavers that I've reviewed on the channel have only been a seven inch. You get an extra inch on there, which I think will work uh, miraculously. That should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and get into some cutting here. So we're gonna just cut into some celery and depending on how you've used it or if you've ever used um, a cleaver in the past it's you know it's a Chinese chef's knife and you can do slicing with it you know if you want to do slicing with it it's intended that you can um, get some really thin slices out of it remember when we're doing stir fry or Chinese style cooking it's all about the shape. The presentation is in the is in the cutting mostly, but it's also for evenness in cooking. So most people, I'm gonna split this in a manageable for this video. Most people will just chop down, and you'll get you know a very traditional basic shape. Very 
very quick but very traditional shape not much in that one and if you want to you can do it at an angle okay you can go paper thin or thick or whatever you want um, just shave very very sharp uh, it's got a convex gray uh, uh, grind on it which feels pretty good uh, in terms of just initial cutting it feels very good um, not doing anything particular with that just testing out the way that it cuts and the way that it feels it's a little bit oh that's rounded too it felt like it was a little bit sharp here um, it's got a rounded uh, heel on it so the little choil area is rounded as well but it still feels a little bit sharp on that edge so not bad comfort in it it's razor sharp so it cuts through um, very cleanly let's go ahead and cut this onion okay all right so if you're doing stir fry works pretty good so onions for stir fry not bad at all Let's see about the, uh, the dice. Since the balance is closer to the, the crest here, you get a little more driving force here. So maybe you'll get some nimble, or nimble uh, cutting and, and precision cuts at the front. All right, so there we go. Off the board. Yeah, performance wise, I like it. It's very light um, compared to the, the cleavers that I'm accustomed to. Um, I love the fact that it's balanced right here by the, the uh, crest because that's where I put my finger. And as I'm holding it, because that's the balance point, it feels um, pretty, pretty secure in the hand. I don't feel like I'm going to be losing it. Um, Works very good as a spatula uh, for grabbing whatever vegetables or whatever items that you're cutting to be able to transfer them. So this here. It still works. Do some green onion here. Works good. I like it. <laughs> Cleavers are, are a fantastic type of tool. If you've never used a cleaver, um, they're very unique compared to your typical um, chef's knife or even your Japanese style Santoku's or Nakiri's. A Nakiri is probably the thing that comes closest to it, but the cleaver, you get such a broad uh, edge on it, it works, honestly, I think it works a lot better than a Nakiri. Nakiris are still good to use, they're compact, they're essentially a compact cleaver, um, but man, the, the cleaver from Mercer, it, it feels really, really good. I like the Santaprene handle, um, the wood, it's got sort of a wood texturing on it, which, uh, supports more grip. It's sort of like a stippling or knurling, if you will. Um, it's it's kind of a fatter style uh, handle compared to the edge, but it still feels very comfortable in the hand. The rounded spine uh, is really nice to grip and to hold um, when you're using it. It does have move this. It does have a rounded belly, so if you're looking at it, it's kind of, it's curved all the way through the center, almost symmetrical. Um, so you get 
very clean cutting through whatever it is using the center. If you try to use the front to cut, you end up with things like this, where it doesn't cut all the way through. So you either need to rock, and that supports if you need to go slow, positive lockup and positive cutting, um, versus if you're trying to use the top to chop, you're going to have a space between the edge and cutting through all the way. So those are just some techniques to understand when you're using a knife like this, is to be aware of the curvature and how it works. Now it's an X50, so I imagine it's it's a softer steel. It's something that I would, um, that'd kind of be the, the type of steel that I would recommend using for a knife like this, because you want something that's gonna be soft enough that it doesn't chip um, and it's gonna be easy enough to sharpen. Um, you don't wanna go softer than that because you don't want it to deform as you're using it. Um, this is not something that you wanna to use to cut through bones uh, or frozen food because you will cause the blade and the edge to deform. But for vegetables and for meats and things of that nature, uh, especially for stir fry, it doesn't have to be, it's anything. Uh, this is a really good substitute for a chef's knife. So if you only use chef's knife your entire time, your, your culinary uh, career or whatever, um, I recommend picking up one of these. This is, um, you know, with those other brands that you might see, especially the if you go to an Asian market or something like that, those are hit or miss. You never know uh, what you're gonna end up with. Whereas buying, you know, a Mercer branded one, for me, that makes all the sense. You're gonna get the same performance out of it. This feels, uh, like any of the other Chinese style cleavers that I've used. It's a little bit lighter. The balance is definitely right here by the uh, the crest. It's got a much better handle on it. Um, and I, I can believe in, or, or I, I feel uh, confident in the still that they're using as opposed to one of the other brands or what you might find just on a bargain shelf. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick review. We're looking at the Mercer uh, Chinese style cleaver. It's the 8 inch Chinese style cleaver. I'll leave everything in the description below all the links so you can purchase it if you want uh, But for me, I really like this knife. It's gonna go in my bag and it's gonna be one that I use. All right Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one